good evening and welcome to Primal with Life. It's Saturday evening and today I have done some listing of the stockpile, got some housework done, did the radio show and then come over to Patrick's and had fish and chips for tea and got bits and bods for his new flat and then my daughter came along and we thought we'd just have a quick nip to the food warehouse you know, as you do when your daughter comes to visit, you go and just make sure she doesn't need any shopping. So off we jolly well trotted. Must say that the reduced items were pretty much non-existent, so that was pointless. Um, but the price of chicken, like fresh chicken, oh my goodness. There was this horrible little small whole chicken, and believe you me, it was small, um, that I'm quite sure that had I bought that in Tesco last year, it would have cost me like £2.50 or £3, and it was over £5. And it wasn't looking that ap appetising, I have to say. So definitely there are some changes coming about, food quality, food prices, um, you know, rumours going round that chicken is going to be on a par with beef, price-wise. Just the way things are going, as Patrick and I were just discussing five minutes ago, I don't think there's going to be a cheap protein alternative. Chicken was always, you know, if if you didn't have that great a wage or you didn't have that much coming into the house, you had chicken, that was your standby protein. That doesn't look like that's going to last for much longer. Uh, the other thing, if you remember my video, I think probably yesterday, the day before, I talked about the diesel prices. Wednesday night when I came to Patrick's it was £1.80. Thursday morning when I left Patrick's it was £1.82. It's now Saturday afternoon I came back and it was £1.86. That's at Morrison's. So it's gone up six pence per litre between Wednesday and Saturday. Now as I drove out to the radio station I passed a local garage. It was £1.96 per litre for diesel. On the way back, I was heading back via my house and I passed another garage, which was £1.95 per litre for diesel. This is not sustainable. There is no way this economy can survive with the diesel prices like this. I mean, these trucks are running so much diesel. What did the guy say? They get something like 10 miles per litre. You know for a truck to run so it, it literally is you know they'll be lucky if they get out the yard and onto the main roads onto the motorways and that they are spending thousands of pounds you know and it's already going up what was it the, the last video I, I said about it and it's the cost pet for one truck has gone up twenty thousand a year on diesel now that was a week ago that lady said that it's gone up I mean, literally gone up another six pence in three days per litre and they're putting hundreds of litres in each tank all day every day so if there is stuff that you don't have get it now and um, start getting yourself ready for whatever's going to happen because if the trucks stop rolling there's going to be a big problem with people getting food getting um do you know, hygiene products, toothpaste, soap, food, drink, anything. There's going to be a big problem with people getting that. Um, and just as a wee side thing, my water went off last night. Now, I know that um, somebody who shall remain nameless has been going back and forward with me about my bath because I'm such a great... I, honest to goodness, went up the stairs last night, thankfully just before I went to bed, turned on the tap to fill the cat's water bowl and there was no water. No warning, no nothing, just no water. It was dead. And I know that a friend phoned me after I'd gone to sleep, thankfully, um, and that was her just realising there was no water. So that was it off for, I think, about three or four hours. With no warning, no nothing, it just went bleh. So if it can happen to me in the middle of Scotland, it can happen anywhere. So, yeah, this is one of those, it's ever more urgent now that you prep, that you get your stuff and I know Patrick's sitting listening to this and 
he admitted today, bless him, and I'm not allowed to get smug, I promise I'm not getting smug, but even he admitted that he did not think it would be getting this bad. He thought I was daft when I started. Now he doesn't think I'm that daft anymore because stuff is happening and we are better being prepped than not prepped. So please, whatever you can do, watch it because if this diesel keeps going up at this rate, it's not going to be worth their while for the trucking companies to work. They won't be able to pay the bills. So they will stop. Take care. See you later.